<coughs> Hello. Um, my name is Janet Ward, and I've heard a lot of people uh, complain about the, the cod cakes. And so I thought I would perhaps give you a, a, another idea. This is my first attempt at this, my first attempt at making a video. So you guys be patient with me. Now the first thing I did was set the oven to 350 degrees because that's what they recommended you bake it at. Now, I'm going to double the recipe because I'm going to make a little bit of a change to it as I go along. So the recipe calls for a half a cup of lentils. I'm going to put a cup of lentils and I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to mash them up. Now I'm not going to make them into mush. I just want them to use as a part of the binder and so I'm just going to kind of take my fork. Now these have been rinsed and strained to make sure that the lentils, because I got canned lentils. Uh, this, is, this is what I found at online organic lentils low sodium. Okay, Couldn't find them without salt but I bought these at Amazon Prime. Okay. So I rinsed them. Now I'm going to mash them up. Again, I'm not going to turn them into a paste. I'm just going to kind of make a mash out of it. Okay. The recipe then calls for a quarter cup of spinach. Now I'm going to add a half a cup, and I took and I kind of chopped it. I didn't want it to be chopped real fine, but I've chopped it up, and now I'm going to mix this into my mashed up lentils, okay? I want to kind of coat that spinach. Now you may decide you want to chop your spinach up a little bit finer than that. Again, this is doubling the recipe. The recipe called for a quarter cup. I'm using a half cup. Remember, I'm doubling the recipe, okay? All right, so I'm going to mash that up. Now it calls for the recipe calls for two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, okay? Now, I don't know if you know this, but three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. And I found these wonderful little cups at um, Walmart, and or, I'm sorry, at Kroger's, they were buy one, get one free, and they have measurements on the inside. So I measured out a tablespoon and a third. So if that's four tables, uh, four teaspoons, that would be a tablespoon and a third. So I'm going to mix my Dijon mustard in. Okay. Again, remember I'm doubling the recipe and I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay. Now it calls for a teaspoon of water. I have two teaspoons in my cup. It calls for a teaspoon of lemon. Again, I'm going to double the lemon, okay? So that's one teaspoon, two, spe two teaspoons. And I'm going to use my fork because I want to keep combining these ingredients as I go. Again, I have no idea what the final results will be, but you guys will get an opportunity as I taste it to tell you how it feels, okay? So I'm making sure that mustard coats all those lentils in the in the uh, bowl, okay? It calls for a quarter teaspoon of garlic. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of garlic and I'm not going to be stingy. I like garlic and it's so good for you. And uh, so I'm not going to be stingy about the garlic. I'm going to keep mashing it up. Now, in the recipe in Dr. Phil's book, it says to chop up your rye crisp. Well, I found these organic rye flakes again on Amazon Prime and so I thought instead of chopping up my rye crisp I would add rye flakes so that's one difference I figured that two rye crisps were about a quarter of a cup maybe a little more so I'm adding a half a cup of flakes to my recipe now here's where I deviate majorly from the recipe. Now remember I told you I'm doubling the recipe and I'm doing that for a very specific reason because at this point I'm going to add an egg. Okay, The egg will become a binder 
on our cod patties and help hold it together. Now, when I fold in my, my cod, I'm only folding in three ounces. So one half of the recipe, uh, one mix of the recipe would be made with egg and the other with cod. And by combining this, this should give me six nice cod, pa uh, cod patties, okay? So I'm mixing this all up. I want to make sure that egg is completely incorporated. I don't want any of that egg to show. Okay. All right. All right. So now then, now I've got my I've got my cod, and I used the three ounces. I have a little scale. Somebody asked me about my scale the other day, and it's dirty. <laughs> I need to wash it. Uh, it's Ozart. I got this at Amazon. I'm an Amazon shopper, ladies. I don't shop anywhere but Amazon, okay? And it says three ounces of cod, okay? And so I'm going to put my three ounces of cod. Now, the recipe says to fold. Now, if you don't know what fold is, basically what you're folding is you're just going to move it around. You're not stirring any longer. You're folding the cod into the little uh, batter, basically, that we've had. Now, I'm going to get out a cookie sheet. Hang on just a second. Again, I've got to get some foil. Hang on just a second. I'll get my foil. Now I'm adding foil to my tray because I hate washing dishes. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can cook all day. I just hate washing dishes, okay? All right, and I'm just going to do a little spritz of pan spray. Next time I buy pan spray, I'm going to make the olive, get the olive oil kind, okay? Now if I can find my scooper... You can see how prepared I was to do this, can't you? Uh, do, 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 do. Where are my scoopers? So, I'm going to get my cookie scooper, and I'm going to make me about six nice patties. I'm going to scoop these on my tray. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to scoop this on my tray. And I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but we shall see. Oh, I'm actually going to get more than three. So let's move everything over just a little bit. Okay, I don't want them to touch because in a few minutes I'm going to go in there and uh, turn them over, okay? So I'm going to scrape down my bowl, miss, don't miss any of this goodness. Well, let's see what happens, let's see if we can get two more out of it. That would make two meals uh, with this so I can have, a, have this again tomorrow night if it's edible. We're just going to believe that it's going to be amazing. And, all right, so I've got a little bit left, but I am not going to waste any of it. So I'm just going to take a little bit and punch it on top of that. Now, these are kind of wet, all right, um, which is okay. I have done crab cakes before, and they need to be a little wet. So I'm going to pat these down. Now, I do not want these to end up being hockey pucks, and so I'm going to be very careful about putting my timer on and timing the oven, okay? So, I'm going to, all right, so there's my four cod cakes. I'm going to slide them in the oven for five minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Now, the first cooking was five minutes, okay? I turned them over, and I thought, you know what? I need to cook them a little bit more, so I cooked the second ones for seven minutes, all right? So, now, the taste test. They cooked up very nicely, uh, very similar to what I would have expected from cod cakes, uh, from uh, crab cakes, sorry about that. I noticed I had some errors in my video, and we will have to fix that next time. Now my, it's saying my battery is running low. Maybe we'll be able to get these out of here before everything dies. Let's see what happens. Now it's time to test. Cod cake test. Number one, I would have made a glass of ice, uh, green tea if I'd have thought about it, but I didn't. So let's see what happens. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ladies, this works, okay? I might next time use a little bit of olive oil in it just to kind of help with that binding. A little pepper. I know that's a cheat, but a little bit of pepper. Maybe some red pepper flakes. This is not bad. Now, it ain't cod cakes. <laughs> it ain't crab cakes. <laughs> but you know what? We've been eating wrong all this time, and that's how we got to this, okay? I'm going to eat right. I'm on day three of phase one, the second time around. I have lost 20.8 pounds, and I feel amazing. Ladies, you can do this. I do this program one day at a time. So can you. More from Janet Ward's Dr. Phil's 2020 Recipes. And I'll try to edit out the mistakes. <laughs>